Welcome to the old horseshoe in the banks of the Olentangy. Home to the Ohio State Buckeyes, one of the great settings in sport. And man, this place is rocking today. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. We'll see the number four team in the country, the Michigan Wolverines, taking on the winners of three straight, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Way to get us going. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. So the Ohio State Buckeyes offense will get the first swing today. And here we go. Wolverines of Buckeyes. Everything that's gone into this game for 365 days is about to play out right now, Kirk. And there's just something right, right? When you look out on that field and you see the colors on the field competing against each other. Maize and blue and scarlet and gray. Let's see what happens. Important second down play coming up. Makes a quick catch. Makes the defender miss. You bring him down, but he makes the four-yard line. That's a solid game. The offense with five receivers now. Empty backfield. There's some pre-snap movement. Back in motion. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Inside the 45. Tackle made after a big game. Buckeyes come to the line to run the hurry up. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Looking to chuck it again. Running out of time in the pocket. And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time. Allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure. And they come up with the first sack of the game. Defense looking for back-to-back -back sacks. Third down now. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Pressure coming, and they've got him again. I like the call here, but you can't run long, developing play action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. The Buckeyes will line up to boot it away. Hunter comes out for the first time today looking to pin him back. And that's a great punt. Goes out of bounds down near the goal line. They'll spot it there. So Michigan's offense gets their first crack now. And how about the game within a game today? The running back coming downhill, the linebacker coming up to meet him. We expect some collisions on this field today. Yeah, this linebacker's going to have his hands full because this running back is a difficult guy to contain. Both guys know where each other's going to be lined up at all times. It's just going to come down to which guy can come up and make a play against holding, the other. Holding, holding, holding. Costly hold nullifies the play, backs him up 10 yards. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. Takes the handoff. It's Edwards. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. And fighting off the defender. That run produces a decent game. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Now the defense appeared to jump before the snap, and the flag comes out. Encroachment. Encroachment. Defense. Defense. So early contact with the defense, it'll push the ball up five yards. 
So let's see what they like here on third and short from inside their own 20. Important to pick up this first down. And the Wolverines pick up enough for a first down here. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. And the single back takes the handoff. Loses the stiff arm and gets past the marker before being taken down. The Wolverines pick up enough yardage for a first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Takes it out to the 44. That's good for a first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. An incompletion makes it second and ten. Ball we'll handed off. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Grab down the middle. It's Moore. The first down pickup tackled at the 45. The Wolverines come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. And here's the handoff. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Second down after that previous play. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from the first down. Can he get there on the ground? Tackled at the 33, that's good enough for a first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. Run down after a seven yard game, so it's second and three. On the run, it's Edwards. The tackle is made, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what that's about. Hold it, hold it, hold it, up and Costly holding penalty there. Backs him up 10 yards. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. No way to run up the middle. On the drive that will not end, it is a long way to go on third down here. Short connection to the tight end here. The Buckeyes fail to get a stop on third down again. Here comes the bunch formation. So Kirk, we reached the end of one. So far, a defensive stalemate here in the early stats illustrating the story. As we get lined up here for quarter number two, we'll see if the offenses can get going. They didn't do much in the opening quarter. And the single back takes the handoff. They get him down, but that's a solid game. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Takes the handoff, heads to the right. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. And the Wolverines line it up with first and goal. Motion now from the tight end. Looking to pass, it's Orgy. The pocket breaking down. Trying to create outside the pocket, but they've got him for a sack. Usually you'd like to run the football this close to the goal line, but if you're going to throw it, I'd get the ball out of the quarterback's hands quicker so you don't have a risk of taking a sack. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the 11. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Nowhere to run. A corralling for no gain. And the offense facing a third and goal from a long way away. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Catch made. Looking for the goal line. 
The completion picks up about eight yards, but sets up a fourth down play now. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. And that is no good. And with that most the score will stay right where it is. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least three points, but instead, he shanks it. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. It's a shotgun run call. Solid run. They'll bring it down at the 28-yard line. Second down play coming up for this offense. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. And that run is good for a first down yardage. A new set of downs for this offense. Let's it go quickly. Oh, and he dropped it. Very uncharacteristic play by this wide receiver. Second down. Back to pass. It's Howard. Pass rush closing in. Just gets the pass away, but took a shot that time. Must convert here on third down to avoid back-to-back -back punts to start this game. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. It's an out route. The catch made. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Buckeyes are looking to keep this drive going. Takes the toss, testing the right side here. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Receiver in motion now. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Oh, it's incomplete, a rare drop from an excellent wide receiver. Brings up third down. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. It's caught downfield. And a big gain across midfield moves the ball inside the enemy 40-yard line. Anytime you have a chance to get this wide receiver isolated, to get the ball in his hands, you do it. Quick throw to his receiver. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. The Buckeyes looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Here's the handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Now it's second down here. Second down. Play action fake, looking to throw. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Now let's see who this is on. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. The offense two for two on third downs in this drive, but this will be tough. It's third and long. Oh, a sack, the senior on this defense making a big play. Great call here going with that nickel defense, giving you more speed on the field on that third down and long. Nowhere to go. Gave the defensive line plenty of time to come up with that sack. And now it's fourth down and long. So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. And he knocks that one right through. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They need something out of this possession. The last time they settled for a field goal attempt, but then they missed it. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, picks up some decent yardage. Second down after that run on the previous play. They're going to run it here. And the defense able to hold him there to a short game. 
So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. Can he make it to the marker? They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. The Wolverines will have to kick this away. That's the first punt of the afternoon for this offense. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. And the clock stops now for the two-minute warning. A chance to strategize here before we reach halftime. He'll take a deep shot. Caught way downfield for a huge game. Breaks clear. End zone ahead. They could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Ohio State. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. The extra point makes it a 10-point game. Pickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. They'll take the return and try to get some better field position. And the return are brought down by the coverage team now. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. Time is running out before halftime to cut into this now two-possession lead. And he finds a wide-open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Back to pass. It's Orgy. Receiver makes the grab. You'll recall the last time they played, the Wolverines won a very close game. That has not been forgotten in Columbus for a single minute since then. No, and if I remember right, it was the Michigan defense that really stepped up and prevailed and led them to a close victory the last time out. Let's see what happens today if the Buckeyes offense can make the adjustments. Looking to throw again. Quick completion to the tight end. And that gained enough for a fresh set of downs. Spotted at the 48. They move the six. The hurry to the line here on first down now. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Second down now after the sack. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. The sure hands. It's Edwards. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. The clock is still running. Not to hurry up here, but it's a crucial third down. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Fires it to the wide out. And he pulls in the catch. Tackled at the 33. That's good enough for a first down. The Wolverines come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. And looking to throw now on first down. Looking for the wide out. And that one's picked off. What a play. And that's a solid return after the interception. Boy, just a drive killer right there, Chris. And he didn't seem to throw that ball with much confidence. Just put it up for grabs, and the defense comes down with it. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. Interesting position here. How aggressive do they get to try to add to this lead before halftime? It's a quick grab. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Looking to throw. It's Howard. Throws to the tight end. It's a wide open receiver complete. It's a big game all the way to enemy territory. Tackled at the 45. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout. We'll talk strategy. First down, looking to throw the ball. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. 
And a puck quickly. The offense will now quickly spend a timeout. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. Man, when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive how much it would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football. The Buckeyes will crank up the tempo. And now they'll just clock it. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. On third down, he drops to throw. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. So the decision is to not go for it, but settle for three. Here comes the field goal team. Met kick right down the middle. Can't hit it any better than that. And they add to their lead. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. He's got it inside the 15. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Final seconds in the first half, they will just take a knee and head to the locker room. Looks like the offense content to run the clock out here and go to halftime. Talk about the second half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, whether it's in the shoe or the big house, when you have these two programs with all that's at stake today, you know emotions run high in a game known simply as the game. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Michigan and Ohio State plays out. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. First play of the second half is a handoff. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. He's running out of time here. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. And the Wolverines will bring their punt team on the field now. They're going to kick it away for the second time. He's going to try to return the punt. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on return. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. Looking to build on this lead in this possession. Had to settle for three last time out. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Now if the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Fires it to the wide out. He pulls it in for a big game. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw. It's Howard. Throws it to the right. He makes the grab. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. Back-to-back -back big plays. Defense is reeling. Set up first and goal now. Launching one to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Buckeyes. The momentum really building now. This one could get out of hand here in a hurry. And that's the last thing you want to do in a rivalry game. Not just lose the game, but get embarrassed. I mean, you've got to fight for 60 minutes.
What have they got cooked up with this two-point conversion attempt? It's an option look. And he stopped short. The two-point try fails. They can't build on their lead here. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And he takes this from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. The game makes it second and medium. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Caught on the outside, it's Morris. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. That completion makes it second and medium. They're going to run it. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Third down, the offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. To throw, it's Orgy. Defense is coming after him. He's hit right as he throws it. And complete. The Wolverines bring their punt team onto the field. Punt lands at the six, but heads into the end zone for a touchback. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. No, he doesn't hang on. Looks like it was deflected before it got to him. That'll bring up second down. The offense now operating in empty. And he's back to throw again on second and ten. That's caught. It's Smith. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Short pass, finds the tight end. Second effort, their defense cannot stop him short of the marker. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. Buckeyes line up on first and ten now. And the back now goes in motion, looking to throw yet again. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Tackle finally made, but it's a huge gain. They'll spot it at the 34. Nice throw and catch here for the Buckeyes. You know, Chris, it's hard to think of a time when Ohio State didn't have an efficient and prolific quarterback under center. Neutral zone defense. defense. Neutral zone infraction moves the ball up five yards. The Buckeyes pick up first down yardage to keep the drive going. Handoff here from the shotgun. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. The Buckeyes are in the red zone now. On the option, it's Howard. And the defense snuffs out that play. Probably should have just handed it off. Getting set. Here's second down. Makes the handoff. Looking to throw. And that pass rush has trapped him. It's a sack. Well, how about the push up front by the big fellas here? And when you can get pressure like this, that's what separates good defenses from great defenses. And you think back of the Michigan teams, when they've been exceptional, they've had defensive line play just like that. So bad plays on first and second down puts them in a tough spot here. Third and very long. To the air, it's Howard. Gets the ball off as he's hit, but it's incomplete. So on fourth down, the decision is to trot out the field goal team. The attempt from 47 yards. And he's got it from 47 yards away, showing off the deep range. Snap, the hold, the kick.
kick. Everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after building this big lead, they're set to kick it off. And it's fielded. Return to trying to make something happen. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they? He fires this throw and is intercepted. Not much room in that return. Tackled at the 16, but an important takeaway for this defense. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. Offense makes its way on the field to get the drive started. In the red area, it's Henderson. They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. A handoff to the back. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. Notice how the balance of this passing game has been on display here. A whole bunch of guys getting involved, catching passes. That's tough to stop. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. Looking to pass, it's Howard. Launching one to the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. What a play by the defense. Really, the only way they can get back into this game is to create a turnover. They get an interception, and they're in business. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. Remember, the last possession ended quickly. The interception on the first play. Let's see if they can do better here. Grab down the middle. It's Morris. They get him down, but he crosses midfield. He's off the ball to 44. First down and 10. Offense looking to throw the ball. And it's incomplete. He dropped the first down pass over the middle. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Looking to scramble. Quarterback on the move, trying to make something happen. Crucial third down play coming up. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Loveland. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback is showing off the cannon. On first down, it's play action. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Makes the catch downfield. The game moves the football to the six-yard line. It'll be first down and goal. The Wolverines line up with a first and goal. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Ball carrier wrapped up and brought down. Coming up, second down and goal. Trying for the end zone, running it right up the gut. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. The defense has kept the offense out of the end zone all game when they stop on third and goal. Dropping back, it's Orgy. He's moving out of the pocket. On the move, but can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game, and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Quarterback drops back. 
makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. Well, they found the matchup here, Chris, on fourth down. A gutsy call, and it pays off. Love this one-on-one -on -one matchup. The receiver wins that battle, and the quarterback put it right on the money. Now the offense will go for a two-point conversion. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Makes the catch for the two-point conversion as they continue to cut into this lead. Now they get set to kick it away. Ohio State, 22, Michigan, 8. He'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. That costly red zone interception the last time out. Let's see if they can recover from that error. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. Pulls it in. It's Tate. We get him down quickly. Not much of a gain on that completion. That completion makes it second and medium. Oh, and a flag before the snap. Looked like the defense jumped into the neutral zone there. Contact in the neutral zone leads to the penalty. That's good news for the offense. Here's the second down play. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Across the 45 now. The stop is finally made, but it's a big game. We're stopping at the 49. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. The offense really clicking here. They'll hand it off. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Fights through a tackle. Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of a first down. That game sets up a third down play. And they'll just try to run some clock here, keeping it on the ground. Tackled with the 33. That's good enough for a first down. Buckeyes churn out another first down. And then first down right back to the running game. Now I like to run play here. And offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. They'll give it to the back. He's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's check out this call. Hold, 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 hold. So the holding penalty in the offense backs him up 10 yards. Second down play coming up. Gonna run it. It's Judkins. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down mark. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. Neutral zone. Neutral zone. Neutral zone. Defense. Defense. Offense accepts the penalty, moves them a little farther from their own end zone. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. And it's good right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. So after adding to this big lead, they'll set to kick it away. Bringing it out, it's Stewart. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. This has been a rough game for these guys. Not much left to do but play for pride. And he dumps it off to the tight end. 
And look at the speed there. They finally bring him down, but it's a nice game. And the offense will take their first 10 out of the half to talk strategy here. On first and 10 here, looking to throw the ball. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. Finally, they get him. A great tackle by the quarterback. Not easy with that size difference. To the air, it's Orgy. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Makes the grab. It's Morgan. Finally marked out after a big game, but hold on. There's a penalty marker First on the field. Let's check this out. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. And the Wolverines lining up here on first and ten. And the quarterback dropping back. With the catch, it's Marshall. The offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. See what the call is on first and ten. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Makes the catch. Can he get in? The Wolverines hustle to the line to run the hurry up. And the offense wisely spikes the ball here to stop the clock. Second down and goal upcoming. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. And it falls incomplete. They need a touchdown here. Down big in the fourth quarter. Third and goal. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. Remember, a field goal here doesn't do much. So on fourth and goal, we're going for the touchdown. Here's the snap looking to throw. Bringing pressure. And he's swarmed by the pass rush. A sack to end this drive. Instead of getting points here and going for the field goal, this offense decides to get aggressive, and the offensive line gives up the sack. It looked like they miscommunicated. The defense, to their credit, is able to get after the quarterback, and they come up with not only a stop, but now they get the ball back themselves. So this one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. Ball is snapped, and the quarterback will just take a knee. Well, so much emotion coming into this game. Always tough to lose to your rival and know the other side's going to have bragging rights now. Yeah, this one hurts. This one hurts. These are the losses that cut a little deeper because of the bad blood between the two teams. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.